Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, and in this video, we will be working on the Tetris layout. So, in the last video, we worked on the main view, and now we'll work on the Tetris layout. First thing we'll do is go into layout and make a new one. This new layout is going to be called Game. And there you go, we made a new layout. After that, we're gonna make another class. So it's gonna be called in class file, and this will be called game with the G capitalized. Easiest thing I know how to do for this is you copy and paste the other one and you put it in the new one and change main activity the game. Then you're gonna hold enter so you can add it to manifest. After you do that, you're gonna use the button we made in the last video called Tetris and connect it to the game. So called Tetris dot set on quick listener. On click listener, and we'll just start the activity. Start activity intent. This game, which is going to the game class, and Class.jump. When pressing this, we'll go straight to the other class and it'll play. Make sure you change the activity main layout to game. After that, we're going to go into game and we're going to start building it. So, the things we're going to need are the drawable break. And we're going to need to make that by making our own custom drawable that we did in the last video. We go new drawable and we're going to call this draw. And this block is just going to be the standard block. All right? And in the last video, we made green. Which, how we made it with the shape and stuff, we're gonna do the same thing with the block one. We're gonna have the rectangle, the color gray, outline a light, a, dark, a little darker gray, and still 2D. And then after that, we're gonna need to make six more different blocks and these blocks are going to be red orange yellow blue purple and pink i'm going to cut ahead until i finish making these blocks but they're the same as this one name it like red or orange so it's easy to use and then after you finish doing it it should look like this you should have red Orange, yellow, blue, purple, pink, and the regular gray color. Now, we're going to start making the game. So, the layout color will be Hashtag B6, B6, B6. And that's a gray color. And then we're going to have Tetris on top. And the Tetris color will just be the name that we use. 
So we're gonna go to Tetris and we're gonna start putting in grid. So in this Tetris game we're gonna mostly use grid layout so it looks grid layout wrap content wrap content it's going to be connected to the top let's do column count three then row count three you can always change it if you want to add more stuff to the text but i'm going to leave it like that and then now that we have that we're going to connect it to the right, the left, and then put it connected to the top. It would be 15 from the top, and I'm gonna start putting in the text views. So, this is what the text views are gonna be. We're gonna drag in a text view from the palette into the grid layout. Text view, we're gonna name it title and then one. That's the first text view. And we're gonna put in the width is gonna be 48 dp. A height is going to be 40 dp. Row is going to be 0. Column is going to be 0. Background is going to be red. So the first color. Red. The gravity. So gravity says where, where is it going to be? Gravity um, is going to be in the center. So when you write a text in it, like text E, it's right in the middle. Then we're going to have text color black. We can see it. Text size 20 SP and text style and that's it for the first one and then for the copy and paste this times one two three four five six and then we're gonna start fixing them so we're gonna name this title two Column one, and this is gonna be or second letter of Tetris. Column is gonna be or so three, two, yellow, and it's gonna be T lowercase T. Title. Or green and you should have a green one from the last video if not you can make it like how we did the other ones oh and we gotta change the column so we're changing the column count to nine so we don't have enough we can just change it Title five. Five is blue. Title six. Is going to be S and 
It's going to be purple. And title seven, the last title. It's going to be title seven. Title seven has a special thing about it. It's much bigger than the other one, so it's at the width is actually seventy six feet. Color is pink, and it's not gonna be a letter, but it's gonna be a emoji. And this emoji is gonna be a smiley face. Go. And that's what it should look like. It should look like a rainbow with a smiley face and it's right in the middle and centered up. Next we're gonna do um the next thing we're gonna do is the controls. So we're gonna go into the controller. And make a another grid. Layout. It's gonna be wrap content. Wrap content. And this grid layout would we'll name it buttons. Android ID. And this would be named. Buttons. Um count will be four. Row count will be three. And it's gonna have a horizontal bias of zero point nine. And it's gonna be connected to the Bottom, so it can be connected to the bottom. Bottom layout, the right, and the left. Then we're gonna put in a button inside. In this button, the ID is going to be called left. Its width is 100. BP by 92. Row is one column. It's zero. This background is going to be gray. So if we go to activity main, it's going to be the exact same background that we did for gray. So it's going to be background gray. Gray. The gravity will be in the middle, so gravity center. Color next color will be black. Next size will be thirty three SP. Next style will be bold. And then this is going to be a left arrow. I'm going to copy and paste this three times. One, two, three. Next one is going to be called rotate right. Rotate right, column one. Now then going left, it's going to be a rotating sign. Then we're going to have right. Uh, 
is going to be column 2. And then we're going to have down. That's going to be row 2, column 1. It's going to be a down arrow. And that's what it should look like. Well, that's it for the video. If you liked the video, give it a like and subscribe. Bye.